Okay, YouTube, welcome to a Fent Noobs World of Tanks announcement. Unfortunately, it's not going to be a video. It's just going to be, I mean, it's a video, but it's, we're not going to do any playing. It's just an announcement. Uh, I wanted to take a chance. I've been out of town. I just got back in town. Look at the Christmas scenery. This is a fantastic garage. I would keep this garage all year long, personally. I love this garage. I love snow, though. I'm one of those crazy people that just absolutely love snow. But the fireworks are nice. All the Christmas lights are nice. I like the tree and the gifts underneath. Uh, in any case, I just logged in. Um, and if we go to somewhere over here, no, maybe not. We, I did get the pop-up that uh, I received the free Panzer 2D, got a free slot. I got a whole bunch of interesting stuff as well as a free day of premium, which is a bit of a waste. And you'll see why in a moment here, but I'm trying to find this thing. I don't, I think that the KVM is out of date. My version of KV XVM, sorry, is out of date, so I'm missing the drop down to select um, tank things, and therefore it is not showing up here. So I'm gonna have to update that. That's one thing that's out of date, uh, but we should probably be able to get to it from here, right? The Panzer 2D. Oh, it might not actually be in this list even, will it? Which means I won't be able to select it this way either. Yeah, I don't. Well, in any case, you know I got it. So there you go. If you aren't aware of it, just by logging in, you get a free day of premium. You get a whole bunch of uh, basically food stuff for crew morale, like a you know, Christmas present for all the different countries. I believe it's five of each. Is that what it says? Five of each? Yeah, five of each. Uh, 24 hours of premium, a free Panzer 2D, and a free vehicle slot. Uh, so there you go. The reason I wanted to log in today is to let everybody know. Well, first I want I wanted to log in and roll the tanks to actually get my free tank and my bonuses and stuff. But I also want to let everybody know that uh, I have the flu. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice. I'm very stuffed up and I have a headache and my belly doesn't feel good and I've been having issues. Um, because I have the flu, I'm not going to do any roll the tanks. Talking, I, I played guitar for about ten minutes earlier in the day. Um, and that absolutely just wiped me out. There's no way I could do, I could do videos. Uh, so there's probably not going to be any videos on the 27th. Probably not honestly going to be any of the 28th either. Um, and that assumes that I'm feeling better for tomorrow and start recording, uh, which may or may not happen. So we'll have to see kind of how things go. Uh, in any case, I did as well because there are some sales on it. I wanted to see what tanks I should buy. Um, now we have Russian heavy. We don't have Russian medium. So that's something we can think about potentially as a Russian medium tank um, for crew training. Excuse me. Also a Russian tank destroyer. So I'm going to hop over. You're probably not going to be able to see it because I haven't set anything up, but I'm just going to hop over and see Russian um Medium tanks. Let's see what they have for sale for Russian medium tanks. The T-3485M is a Russian medium tank that's on sale for under $40. Okay, what else do we have? We have a heavy Russian tank, not interested, heavy Russian. There's a light Russian. The BTSV is light. I didn't know that. Let's take a look at that bad boy. There's the six mega rare tanks that I've talked about. You know what? Let me, give me a quick second. I'm going to, I'm going to try and set this up so you guys can see what I'm doing because um, I think that would be much better than you just staring at the screen. Give me one. I didn't set this up because I didn't plan on taking this long, but then I just figured I better. Uh, I want to open this. This way. There. Copy and paste. and Go. There. Let me check and see. Ah, good. I can do it. Perfect. All right. So we're looking at a uh, Russian medium tank. I was looking at the Intrepid, right? The T-3485M, which is a new premium, uh, which is like the T-34, but weaker and with heavier armor. There's um, speed, gun depression, and something else that it has less than the T-3485. But it has heavier armor. Not really impressed with it personally. I don't know if I'd really bother with it. It would be nice for crew training though. Uh, but let's just see. Is there another Russian? Here we go. There's a Russian medium right here. The T-34. It's a tier 8 though. And I think that's a little bit too high of a tier for me. Any more Russian tanks? 
Russian medium tanks. The Matilda 4, which is only a tier 5 for $6.10. Wow. That's almost uh, definitely worth buying, right? For only $6. Good armor. Low alpha is offset by good aim time. High rate of fire. Well angled armor. High stealth. Po high health pool. Sorry. Huh. That might be worthwhile. Getting the Soviet. Um, getting the Matilda 4. Because that would satisfy the... T-34 line we want to work our way down. If I'm not mistaken. Isn't that what... Because uh, that was to the object 140, right? And we can... Stick a mediums. Yeah, so that's not a bad one. Uh, that's not a bad one at all. Not at all. So I'm probably going to pick up the Matilda 4. That'll take care of Russian medium. Okay, we also were looking at Russian tank destroyer. Let's go back to the top then. You know what I'm going to do here so I don't lose my place? Matilda 4, new tab. It'll always be there. Good. Okay. So now I'm looking for Russian tank destroyers. <sighs> oh, I'm, I'm exhausted. This Even just this short little six-minute video has wiped me out. Uh, there's a tier 7 SU-122. Okay. There's also the SU-100Y. Which is only a tier six. Okay. There's also the SU 85I. Okay, so there's lots of Russian tank destroyers. I'll have to research that and see which one I decide to go with. Pick up a Russian tank destroyer, and I probably will. Uh, I think I really think it's going to be to my advantage to have a lot of crew training going on. Um, okay, so then for the German tech line, if we switch back, which I Hang on a second. I got a tab to switch to tab. I know that sounds confusing, but trust me. Okay. Uh, for Germany, we needed a German heavy tank for the VK-30-01. We also want a German tank destroyer. Okay, so German, German tank destroyer. We know there's the Löwe, uh, but I, that's too high a tier as far as I'm concerned for me. So, what do we have? There's the Tier 4 Panzer B2. Um, I don't think I was impressed with it, though, with the, the Great Duck. It had some weird, like, grouping stuff. Oh, I do like that it comes with a crap ton of gold, though, and some pre premium. Does this? It does not. So there's the B2740 to think about. Other German heavy tanks. There's the Lerva, which, as I said, I think is too high a tier for me. Oh. Uh, medium, medium. 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 And that's it. Oh, and light. So it looks like if we want a German heavy tank for crew training purposes, that's not a tier 8. We have to go with the B2740. I might go without, truth be told. Uh, and then there was German tank destroyer. Now, there are a couple of options for German tank destroyer. There is the 8.8, uh, .8, the 88 millimeter Pac-43 Jagdtiger. There, which is a tier 8, too high. There is the E25, which is tier 7. I'm going to return to that in a moment. And there's another one or two, I believe. There's the tier 6, Dicker Max. And I think that's it, isn't it, for German tank destroyers? Yeah. So let's take a look at the Dicker Max. Where was it? There it is. Uh, excellent camouflage, high damage. Uh, make sure to grab some cover if it's spotted. The tank's open. Top makes it vulnerable. Okay. Versus the... Now, this one is being removed from purchase. Um, I 
It has almost no armor, but it has such a high camouflage rating that apparently this thing is almost like impenetrable. I really like that one, and because it's being removed from the shop, I wouldn't mind picking it up just from a collector standpoint. Okay, uh, so that would take care of Germany, right? And then there is, like I said, there is the B2 potentially. I haven't decided. I don't know how much I like. But I'm, I'm very curious. I'm just kind of doing a quick review while there's a big sale on and seeing where everything is. Uh, in the American tank trees, we need a tank destroyer and medium tanks. Is it medium tanks all the way through? I don't believe so. I believe we're eventually heading for heavies. But we have the T-14 for heavies. Uh, we can do the T-1 all the way down to the T-110E5. So we don't really have to worry about getting into the M4, although we do have our... So we have medium and heavy tanks, right? Because we've also got our Fury. So we're good on American medium and heavy. We don't have an American premium destroyer. Oh, I did I... Have I been... I haven't been able to tab back and forth. I think you guys are in the screen, though. Yeah, you're seeing the screen. Okay. Uh, so American tank destroyer is the only other thing that we really need. Uh, that's not a tank destroyer. That's not a tank destroyer. That is. Okay. Uh, and there's the TOG, the RAM, oh, Sexton, Locust, T2. So it looks like that's the only American tank destroyer is the AT-15A. Wait, it says British. Did I accidentally look at a British tank? Womp womp. Um, I thought I could sort this somehow. No? Maybe not. Maybe I'm crazy. Uh, all right. Let me just check again. There's USA, T-34. Okay. There's USA, the T-2064. There's USA, the Ram, T-14. That's not even American. M22 and the T2. So it looks like there is no American tank destroyer premium tanks. Okay. So if we come back over here then, there was some new British stuff that came out with this patch, right? So let's take a peek. Um, I don't even know how this... Oh, the Firefly was new. I believe this is the new line here. Whether or not these are new, I can't. I couldn't say. But some of these are new. It looks like they're mostly medium tanks. So if we did pick up anything for a British, it would probably be a British medium tank that I'd be interested in. So look, I'm probably not going to because I really have no plans to pursue a British tank line. But out of curiosity, what do they have on sale for British medium tanks? They have... Mm, they have the Matilda Black, Black Prince. Okay. They have... That seems to be it by my count. If you want a British medium tank, that's it. It's the Black Prince. It's, look at that. It's, only, it's less than $7 too. Wow. It's not super expensive. Uh, yeah, I don't. I, I think I'll pass on that. So, Matilda, I'll definitely pick up, and the E twenty five. I think I'll definitely pick up. The Panzer B two. It might be worth picking up, if only for the gold and the thirty days of premium, because that's not a bad, not a bad price. The other thing is my six rare tanks that I've talked about over and over. Um, and honestly, I, I don't know. I think, I, I think I will pick them up for the collector in me, but I don't really know if we'll play them that much. They're lower tiered. They might be good for farming some money, but I think most of the money is going to be in the higher tier. Uh, and I don't even know, especially, I think what I'm going to do is if I get, I'll get one of either the B2 or the six rare tanks. Now I do have almost a month to pick these up. So what I'll do is I'll wait and see what advice you guys have, but I am most definitely going to pick up the E25 
and I'm most definitely going to pick up the Matilda 4. So you'll see those uh, next time we hop in to play World of Tanks. It will be Sunday uh, or maybe Monday or possibly Tuesday. I have no idea when I'm going to be feeling better. But hopefully I'm feeling better soon and I'm able to, to hop in and do something. Uh, but I'm exhausted. This talking I've done already has just worn me out. Oh, look, there's a new... Oh, should we do the Tier 2? And We probably should do the Tier 2 and the Tier 3 while we're, while we're doing it. Right? Because those are the... We did uh, we did them for everything else, the tier two and teeth tier three of every other vehicle in the game. Um, so we probably should do the British tier, the new British tier two and tier three tanks because why not, right? Uh, maybe I'll really like them and decide to keep going down that line as well. Uh, we'll see. In any case, though, uh, I do appreciate the patience. I appreciate the support while I was gone. It was very nice to to go away for a week, come back, and see that I have ten new subscribers. That's fantastic. Uh, so thanks everyone for their support. I hope everyone had a uh, a merry Christmas and a, a fantastic holiday season. Um, and I hope you have a, a good new year as well. Uh, but we'll talk about more about uh, the new year coming up in the next episode. Uh, for now, though, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.